The reaction is that money talks, and we all know this. And we know that owners make decisions in the NFL largely because of how it's going to affect positive or positively or negatively their bottom line. And Dan is no different, and FedEx is a big sponsor. And even going a step above FedEx, look, when you have investors that control, uh, you know, upwards of $620 billion in a portfolio of companies, including FedEx, including Nike, I mean, those, those including PepsiCo, and they're telling you as FedEx, hey, look, we're not comfortable with your association with this football team as far as the naming rights that, you know, they have acquired, you know, putting your name on their stadium, and we need you to disassociate yourself with them if they are not going to change the name. That is something that speaks very loudly to NFL owners. NFL owners didn't get rich and didn't get in the positions that they are because they make bad decisions as far as how, they, how it affects their bottom line. They're very smart, very savvy businessmen. And I know many people are going to look to this move by FedEx and this request by FedEx and say, well, look, this is all just a matter of business. It's not really a matter of their moral compass guiding them in this direction. Well, I mean, that is an argument that you can make. But the fact of the matter is we're looking for change. We're looking for impact. We're looking for things to be different. We're looking for people to be respected. We're looking for equality. And right now, you can be mad about the fact that the impetus for this kind of change and this kind of discussion as in regards to Washington is driven by money. But the fact of the matter is that's one language that NFL owners and all owners across all professional sports leagues understand. And I guarantee you they have gotten Dan Snyder's attention. And Fred Smith, the CEO and the chairman and founder of FedEx, has gotten Dan Snyder's attention. Now we're going to see how he responds. Okay, but you mentioned this speaks very loudly. And even Dan, though, mentioned the stubbornness factor, the factor that fans have a connection with the Redskins' name. So do you think that this will actually lead to a name change? I, I, I think it, there's, a, there's a good chance that it will. And look, I'll, I'll tell you this. You know, I, quite honestly, I mean, I, I could care, I could not care less about fans' stubbornness and their connection with history in regards to this name, because the simple fact of the matter is this. When we're talking about matters, uh, matters of racism, it is not up to the people who are not the ones being offended to determine whether or not the people who are being offended should be offended. It's not up to them to say, well, no, you don't have a right to be offended. And, and besides, you're messing with my tradition and you're messing with something that I've always identified with in the context of sports. So we're not going to listen to you. We're not going to listen to your pleas. We're not going to listen to your requests. I think the time for that is long since passed. And this is a new way. This is a new day right now. The new set of rules and people are making decisions based off of a new set of rules. And quite, quite frankly, it's the way it should have been for a long time right now. I understand, again, that people are upset as far as how this is coming about, maybe. But the fact of the matter is this. I think if there is a time for this to happen, it is now. If there is a way to get Dan Snyder and any other NFL owner's attention, it is by way of money. It is by way of affecting the bottom line. We've seen it happen before. We saw how it affected Colin Kaepernick and his ability to not secure employment in the NFL. And now we're going to see whether or not this happens, this results in the kind of change that Native Americans are looking to that are offended by their, their, you know, their mascot. And Dan, Lewis mentioned. Hey you, yeah you, the one that's about to watch this video. You didn't hear about it? I just launched my new Instagram, Juan Gotti Sports Network. Go ahead, go over there and give me a follow. It's free and we cover anything DC sports related or anything sports related from all major sports, whether that's MLB, NHL, NBA, or NFL. I promise you won't regret it. We cover everything, whether you're a Knicks fan and you're a Giants fan, whether you're a Redskins fan, although we are DC sports um, here as fans, we do cover every other sports league and every other sports team so go ahead and give me a follow i promise you won't regret it link in the description to even mention this.
Do you understand how much money Daniel Snyder will be losing if he changes the Washington Redskins name? Do you understand how many fans won't even attend the game anymore? Do you understand how many fans he will be losing? Literally. Literally. And I even went out and said yesterday, I don't even know if I would be a fan anymore if they change the name. I don't even know if I would be a fan anymore. Because I'm a Washington Redskins fan. And I know you're going to say, oh, you shouldn't be that attached to the name anyway. But I am. I'm a fan of the team. Yes, I'm a fan of the team. But I'm a, a Washington Redskins fan. Eggs and burgundy and gold. My, my Redskins spirit would never die. My Redskins spirit would never fold like Louis T. says. So, I don't think Dan Snyder would change the name. I hope he doesn't. But does he realize how much money he would be losing? Although he's saying he's going to lose money by by, comp, by people pulling out, like FedEx and Nike, stuff like that. Do you understand how much money you would be losing from season ticket holders, your fans, people buying merchandise, if you change your name? I guarantee you, 50% or even more than 50% of fans would leave and not be a Redskins fan anymore, change teams, or just stop watching football anymore if they change their name. I'm one of those fans. Honestly, I, I love the team, but if they change the Washington Redskins fan, Redskins name, I would have to think about being a fan. I would, I really would have to think about it. It, it would take some time to think. Honestly, as always, me and Boom Wall Gotti like, comment, subscribe to the Redskins, and enjoy the rest of this video. Peace. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here with another video, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the name change. And, and, you know, normally I put the intro in between the intro. And what I mean by that is the video intro in between my intro of me talking. But now I had to get the video intro out of the way and, and just get straight to the video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the whole situation, the whole elephant in the room of the name change. Because I know everyone in my comment section has been talking about it. Louis T made a video on it. Pedro Schmidt made a video on it. Shout out to those guys. Um, and a lot of people in my comment section has been talking about it, saying don't change the name. I really was trying to avoid making this video, honestly, but I was just like, why not get my two cents on it since I'm a Redskins creator, Redskins creator. Um, so with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL. In this case, I'll watch to Redskins, and let's get straight into today's video. So. Where do I begin? Where do I begin? 2013, we know Daniel Snyder came out and said that the Washington Redskins name, I'm never changing that. And he was he was really like he stamped that. He he really seemed serious about it and he seemed like he he was just, you know, he has a big ego and you can't tell him nothing. He's not changing the name. Fast forward seven, six years later, now you have FedEx saying um, they they request to put to you know remove their name off the Fed off the stadium, and I like when I first seen this, I was just ignoring it and stuff like that, just because only because we've been dealing with this for how long? How long have we been dealing with this? And nothing seemed to you know be that serious. No, we were we were always the Washington Redskins as long as I've been born and watching this team. We've been the Washington Redskins, and it seemed like no one, no one was making an effort that really had a problem with the name to change it. So with that being said, now it seems like my whole perspective has to change because it seems like people. And companies are finally starting to really have a if they the people that have an issue with the name are finally starting to, to starting to change have you know have effects on the Redskins. And what I mean by that is they're finally trying to force Dan Snyder to make make the change. You know, yesterday Nike they removed all their Redskin gear off their page. FedEx, the, the owner of FedEx, the, who, who is a co-owner of the Washington Redskins, has requested that they change the name or they remove their, their, their name off the field. And it's just like, now it seems like that we have to change the name. Do I want us to change the name? I hope, I hope we don't. Do you see that logo back there? Do you see that logo back there? Do you see this logo right here? Do you see this logo right here? 
do you see this logo right here? We're the Washington Redskins. I don't care how anyone feels about it. I, I honestly, I don't. You can't, I don't see what's racist about it. And I mean, yes, you can say, well, you're not Native American. Yeah, I'm not. But at the same time, what, what, what racist, what, what are we doing as racist? Come on, like, let, let's just be, let's, let's be honest. What are we doing as racist? We're calling you Redskins? Well, if you go back in the history, um, I just read about it yesterday, is that the, that they, they were called the Redskins, you know, when they first came to, I think it was like the, the land. I, I don't remember uh, clearly because I read it late last night, but it was saying something that they were, they were, they were being called as a, the Redskins by the British people, but not in a bad way. But it was in a way that was like, we're introducing you to the Native Americans, but we're calling them Redskins. It was, I'll, I'll put the link in the description of when I read that at. But it's just like, it's not nothing that, that, that really is offensive. And you know what, what really blows me about this whole situation is that it's the people that find the name disrespectful and, and racist are people that aren't even Native American. It's, it's just regular people. Or, or should I say people of not the na Native American descent. Those are the people that find it interesting or, or racist. And I know you can say, well, this has been going on for seven, six years. Yeah. But I really believe if it was sports going on, they wouldn't be, wor they wouldn't be worried about the Washington Redskins name. They wouldn't be worried about the Washington Redskins name. But now that there's no sports going on, they have to find something to tell a story about. They have to find something to tell a story about. So they're going to pick and choose the what's going to cause ruckus and what's going to get people's attention. Because why are the Washington Redskins the main the main focus of of this racist racist thing towards Native Americans when you have so many other companies franchise and, and 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 sports teams that are that are the same. Must I name the Redskins you have, of course. You have the Florida State Seminoles who who gets on a horse and spike the spear in the middle of the field every every game every game. You see their logo. You have the Chicago Blackhawks, an NHL team. You have the Utah the Utah um I think the Utah University, but the Utah football team. Who looks exactly like the Redskins logo, but just red. So you have a bunch of teams that resemble Native Americans, but oh, the Washington Redskins are are racist. You don't hear nothing about other people talking about no other team I just named. No other team are 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 found racist, but the Washington Redskins are. Come on, man, come on, and it's just like. With the same thing with Bruce Allen, we we wanted change, like Louis T referenced in his in his live stream earlier. We wanted change, and we had to do something to get change. What did we do? We stopped buying merch. We stopped going to the games, and then and Bruce Allen got fired because Dan Snyder started to realize, hey man, you reaching in my pockets. What does a rich man love more than himself? Money. That's just, that's just what it is. So Daniel Snyder, Bruce Allen started to reach into Daniel Snyder's pockets and it started, you know, losing the money. So what are people that want the name change are trying to do? They're trying to reach in his pockets by saying that we're taking down FedEx, which is, I think, uh, uh, whatever company told FedEx to take it down or, or request to be taken down from the Redskins if they don't change the name is a $620 billion company. Daniel Snyder doesn't want to lose that kind of money, or even if he has that kind of money, he doesn't want no no parts of losing it. So companies are trying to, you know, take money out of Dan Snyder's pockets by forcing him by by you know saying we're going to take away our our partnership if you don't change the name. We don't want to be associated with the Redskins if you don't change your name. So they're trying to force Daniel Snyder into a way that we that we did with Bruce Allen. They're, you know how, like I said earlier, what we did with Bruce Allen is what they're trying to do with Daniel Snyder by making him try to change the name. I know that kind of sounds confusing, but you're going to have to bear with me. So, I really hope that Daniel Snyder stands his ground. I really do. 
And I, I just hope we don't change the name. Because I, I know you're going to be like, well, I'm a fan of the team, not the name. but And I, I am too. But what you're about to hear here is just, I'm 16, almost 17 years old. Next month, I'll be 17. I've been a Washington Redskins fan all of my life. So, and I know you're like, you can't, it's no way you can be that attached to a name, but I am. I am. Whenever I see a, a Redskins logo or a logo that symbolizes the Redskins, I automatically think of football. Right? Of course. But it's just like if we were to change the name to the Washington Renegades, what? I'm not a Washington Renegades fan. I guess that still keeps the HTTR alive. But, I mean, I'm not a Renegades fan. I can't see myself. Oh, I'm a Washington Renegades fan. No, I'm not. That that just doesn't sound authentic. That doesn't sound real. So and just like other names I've been hearing, the Washington, the Washington Warriors. What? I'm not a Washington Warriors fan. I'm a Washington Redskins fan. That's what I've been raised on. That's when that's what been this team name. For I don't even know how many years. That's the team name that both. That's the name. That's the team name that has three Super Bowls tied to it. The Washington Redskins are one of the richest uh, teams in the National Football League. I think top five or top three. So why ruin all of our franchise history just because a few people may be offended? If correct me if I'm wrong, but I just watched a news report the other day of Native Americans sit down talking, or, or it's like a sit down interview, and people are asking Native Americans, are they offended by the name? Ninety percent of the the, the the Native Americans or Redskins did not find the name offensive. So, what is the big deal? And I already know it's going to be those people in the comment section. Oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. I guess I don't then. Because I'm defending my team name, my team logo. This is beyond football at this point. Also, all the Giants, Eagles, Cowboys fans are going to come here to troll. Be, be human beings for a second. Be real people. Forget about the football. This is a man's team that he spent his, hard, his hard-earned money on. And, and it sounds weird because you barely hear me backing up Dan Snyder. But in this case, I'm all for backing up Dan. Dan. You're telling a guy that spent his hard-earned money, his hard-earned money, to buy a franchise, and now you're trying to tell a guy that bought the franchise with his money to, to do with his money? Essentially, that's what it is. It's his money. It's his team. So you're trying to tell a guy that spent his money on a franchise to change his to change the name? It's his team. And of course you say, "Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut ties with you." Okay, cool. Cut ties with me. That's how I would look at it if I was Dan Snyder. Cut ties with me. Do you understand how many other companies I could pick up with ease? You know how many other people would be dying to be had their name outside of the Redskins Stadium? Small businesses that that are gonna look past and look through all this stuff. That that are gonna that are, are gonna realize and say they're not being racist. They're not showing their their team their the, the Native Americans culture in a racist act. They're not doing none of that. Do you know how many small companies would love to have their name outside of? Outside of Redskin Stadium, I'm not even gonna call it FedEx Field anymore because they don't even want to be. I guess they don't want to be called that anymore. So, do you know how many people would love for their name to be outside of Redskin Stadium? Heck, even change change the name to Redskin Stadium or Redskins Park. Like, come on, man! It, it's just like you're trying to change a guy's name, right? You're trying to change a guy's name. And like I keep referring to, he spent his money on this team. I wouldn't want to change my name. I wouldn't even budge to change my name. And it's just like Nike 
FedEx, all those guys, they they're changing, they're taking away the Washington Redskins, you know, stuff like that. Okay, cool. You know how many other companies would that that still has our jerseys up on their site? I'm still gonna make money. The hard aren't the hardcore fans that see through all this stuff like me, is still gonna be there and still say the Washington Redskins. Only other name only name change that I will allow is to be called the Washington Skins. But even then, it still wouldn't be the same. What, HTTS? No. That's not that's not the same. That's not the same as me screaming HTTR. That's not that I don't get the same adrenaline rush and excitement as me saying HTTS. That is no. Hail to the Redskins. Hail victory, brave on the warpath, fight for ODC, hail to the renegades, that, that doesn't, hail to the warrior, like that, that doesn't come off the same, hail to the skins, I guess that, that, I guess that's, I don't, I, that, that, that doesn't even sound the same to me. But I mean, I guess that's the only opening change I would be to as a fan. Other than that, I'm not changing the name. As always, it's been Boy Juan Gotti. Like, comment, subscribe, hello to the Redskins, and turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload a video about the NFL, or in this case, I'll watch the Redskins. I'm behind Dan Schneider 100% with this whole topic. Please, Dan, don't change the name. Hashtag don't change the name. Start the trend on Twitter. Please. Dan, you've been standing your ground for your grand your ground for seven plus years, six, seven plus years about changing his name. Don't fold now. Please. Hail to the Redskins, like comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, main boy Juan Gotti Leah. Leave your two cents down in the comment section how you feel. I'm out. Peace.